Hello everyone, Spartan Steve here bringing you a video in dark and light on how to tame for beginners. We're going to use a nice simple creature, a boar, uh, to use this on. Uh, first, in order to do this, you will need a wooden bow, wooden feet and draw, and stone hook arrows. And we'll absolutely explain how to craft that. Once you get range level up by hacking away at trees to get a lot of twine with a pickaxe, you're going to need to make a lot of these spears and throwing knives. Uh, that's how you're going to get to rank 2, where you'll be able to make the bow here and the stone hook arrows once when you reach rank 2. Mine's higher, that's why mine above says rank 6. To make the stone hook arrows, you're going to need a lot of charcoal, and to get that, you just need to burn wood. So I would literally make this much fireplaces, because towards the end game and later on, you're going to need a lot of it. Once you get ranged to rank 2, you're going to get taming unlocked. And to do that, you need to make a lot of stone hook arrows. And then once when you do that, you'll get the wooden feeding trough, and that's how you're going to tame the animal once when you get them down. Boars are relatively easy to tame, uh, but you have to make sure that there's not like a pack of them, because as you can see, I've made this mistake. There was a boar on the right, and when you hit one, they're both going to charge you. But what you're going to want to do with the arrows here is when you shoot the beast that you want to tame, it's going to place a hook in the ground. I killed the second one pretty quick, but the reason why I'm showing this is because it's a pain to do this, to try and not hit the one that you want to tame, and then kill the other one. Once the other one is down, start planting all the stonehook arrows into them. Uh, do a little bit of better dodging if you do the roll, like if you click uh, A real quick and D real quick, you'll roll to the side, and you'll be able to dodge them a little quicker. And you're going to keep doing this until you got a good amount, and the higher the level, the more arrows you're going to need. Because what's going to happen is this is going to pull on them. Then you have to run away from where the boar is, or the creature that you're trying to tame. And you need to have the arrows yank on him. And then if he doesn't fall over in place, you still have to keep doing this. If he does, you are in good shape. And just definitely double check your surrounding, because I know there's hyenas over here and you don't want a pack of hyenas to attack you while you're taming something. And that's it. That's the signal of when he is ready. Put the phoenix raw close to its face and put in the food that would be appropriate to that animal. Um, for this, you could use grass and apples for boars. Uh, grass will take longer, uh, but apples will go a little quicker. You have three bars here now. Taming, wildness, and fatigue. Uh, taming will start to build as the creature starts to eat. Wildness is going to slowly drop. Um, the higher that bar is when he's fully tamed, the higher level it will be. As you can see, the fatigue bar is also dropping, and to make that go back up, just shoot an arrow in him, plant the arrow, and you're going to see that it's going back up. You will not kill them with this, it only does one damage. Um, you would have to do an incredible amount to do that. We're going to skip a little forward to almost up to the cane here. And you can be here a little bit. Each creature has its own, like, minutes on how long it will take to tame, and the food type will determine how long it will take to tame the creature. And the tame is almost completed there, and when it is fully completed, a screen's going to pop up, and you'll be able to name the uh, creature. There is a bug that when you type the name and click accept, it doesn't work. Uh, just re-go into the creature and you can rename them. There'll be a tab there that you could select. I hope this walkthrough and guide helps you guys out on how to tame. And thank you so much for watching.